PV arrays have non-linear voltage and current characteristics. In-house testing of PV application devices like microinverters, converters, DC-DC optimizers require a power source with similar characteristics. Using solar arrays directly for testing is not possible because they are quite expensive and the output varies with varying temperature and irradiance throughout the day. And hence repeatability cannot be achieved. A solar array simulator becomes an invaluable tool in designing and prototyping new solar applications and devices without the expenses and uncertainties related to using a real solar array. AppLab has come up with a modular rack-mountable solar array simulator, the FCS12010, offering a maximum power of 1200 watts in a single UHI package. Ten such units can be combined for higher power. The SAS-12010 allows R&D engineers, manufacturing engineers and system integrators to accurately simulate the IV curve of a solar panels array for the design, development and production testing of converters and microinverters, both for domestic and industrial solar energy systems. The SAS-12010 is primarily a current source with very low output capacitance, which is capable of simulating IV curves of solar arrays under various environmental conditions like temperature, irradiance, cloud cover, etc. It has a powerful yet user-friendly graphical user interface, the soft panel for SAS. The soft panel can automatically simulate any curve profile based on user-defined points. The profile can be exported to SAS 1.2010 via any communication interface like LAN, GPIB, USB or RS-232. The unit under test can be connected to the output of the simulator and the tracking efficiency and performance can be evaluated. A typical test setup shown here includes the SAS12010 Mizramax IEC voltage optimizer with 54 volts output providing 200 watts of power, the AppLab DC electronic load and a PC with SPS installed. Let's take a look at how the system works. The profile on the SAS12010 is actually comprised of 50 points on a curve. The SAS12010 performs linear approximation between the points. There are three ways to generate a profile curve. The first is to create a solar profile based on the four user defined points. Open circuit voltage, short circuit current, maximum power voltage and maximum power current with standard temperature and irradiance values of 25 degrees centigrade and 1000 watt per meter square. Another method for generating a profile is to keep the four defined points of open circuit voltage, short circuit current, maximum power voltage and maximum power current fixed and varying the irradiance and temperature associated. And finally, a profile can be generated by manually defining 50 individual curve points. These curve points can be used to emulate shadow curves. Shadow curves emulate panels that are shaded by clouds, trees, buildings, etc. A maximum of 50 different profiles can be generated, labeled and separately color-coded for easy identification. Each of the profile curves has their own set of defined parameters. The execution time for each profile can also be specified when the profile is used as a part of a sequence. In a sequence, each profile is programmable from two seconds to run up to 60 seconds. Each table has a unique table ID. Any of the profiles can be selected and exported to SAS to check the performance and tracking efficiency of the solar inverter or microconverter. We can create single profiles and run them separately or list them in sequence and run one after the other at specified intervals without human intervention. This facility is particularly helpful when we want to evaluate a panel performance over a day under varying environmental conditions. On the software, there is a graph that shows the power on the vertical axis and voltage on the horizontal axis. Each profile is color-coded. The stationary cursor indicates the theoretical maximum peak power for that profile. 
The graph is selectable between either power versus voltage or current versus voltage views. The real-time graphical area can be maximized during the tracking operation to have a clearer view of the maximum power point tracking. The SAS 12010 details are indicated in the top left corner of the SPS. SAS 12010 can be connected to the PC via Ethernet, GPIB, RS-232 or USB interfaces. This section also shows alarms and communication errors along with the active running profile. The start and stop button can control the turning on and off of the output of power supply. Let us see this in action now. The SAS 12010 provides simulation of the VOC or the open circuit voltage up to 121 volts and the ISC or the short circuit current up to 10.5 amperes. The output is now turned on using the start button and load is scanning the curve. The moving cursor shows the actual operating point of the solar array stimulator. You can see it is operating right at the maximum power point. It's the job of the IEC to keep the operating point right at the maximum power point. The instantaneous tracking efficiency percentile can be seen below the graph. Hitting the stop button makes the output turn off and prompts the user to save the recorded values for the test for future references with a date timestamp. The user has the flexibility to save it in any desired location. The report can be useful for R&D design characterization or QA verification and production quality control. Now we will demonstrate the sequence mode. The user has the flexibility to run multiple IV curves to simulate the radiation intensity and temperature changes throughout the day. It helps the user to do the maximum peak power tracking test under diverse environmental conditions. High speed transfer of curves makes the profile transition seem seamless to the user. As you see, the operating point stays at the maximum point for different curves and the microconverter is able to track the maximum power point. So we just saw how AppLab Solar Array Simulator SAS 12010 can be used to test any solar inverter or microinverter and is an ideal instrument to replicate solar arrays required for testing. The simulation process is very straightforward and easy to perform. For more details, please visit our website at www.applab.com/solar.